Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? We have talked a lot this offseason about uh, the Saints free agency, additions, positions of need, what they have done, and what maybe they still could do or need to do. And notably, they've added Jarvis Landry at receiver. They've added Tyron Matthew at safety. Of course, Marcus May as well at safety. So there have been some very notable free agent moves for the Saints uh, here this offseason. And they may not be done. The Saints have just a hair under you know $10 million left against the cap uh, in this, you know, right now for, for 2022. And Matt Bowen over at ESPN.com ranked the best fits for the top 10 remaining free agents. And the number one remaining free agent that he listed over at ESPN.com was defensive tackle and Dominican Sue, of course, who spent the past few years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I won't bury the lead here. ESPN.com says Ndamukong Sue's best fit is the New Orleans Saints. The write-up is, I originally considered matching the veteran defensive tackle back with the Buccaneers, but with Tampa Bay signing Akeem Hicks, we should expect Sue to land with another contender during camp. Sue had six sacks in 2021, put some good tape out there in the postseason. Writes that they like the idea of Sue playing in Dennis Allen's defense even in a rotational role. He can still create disruption, command um, two in protection, get home to the quarterback and scheme fronts. He'd be effective in New Orleans with interior stunts and loops that create a, a gap pressure and eliminate the quarterback's ability to climb the pocket. And you need that when you see Tom Brady twice a season. Okay, So the write-up is projecting best fit for Ndamukong Sue to the New Orleans Saints. This isn't the first time we've talked about Ndamukong Sue and the possibility of him uh, being a fit for the New Orleans Saints, actually, whenever he landed in um, uh, in Tampa. We talked about that being a, a, a what would have been a really nice fit at the time. Y'all, Ndamukong Sue to the New Orleans Saints would be a total dream fit. He, he's 35 years old, okay? So, yes, you were talking about an aging defensive player. What did our buddy Mike D always say the best ability is? Availability. One of the most underappreciated statistics in the current NFL of active NFL players is the fact that Ndamukong Sue has never missed a game due to injury. He was drafted out of Nebraska by the Lions in 2010. Now, you remember, he missed two games back in 2011 when he stomped on Andre Giroud's head, and he was suspended. But he has never missed a game due to injury. He has played in every game in his career except the two when he was suspended. Last year, as a 34-year-old, turned 35 in January, by the way, played in all 17 games for Tampa. The best ability is availability, and Ndamukong Sue has unquestionably been available his entire career at a position where not many guys stay healthy for as long as he has. When you consider the Iron Man streak that Cam Jordan has as well, that would be one hell of a statement having those two guys as a formidable tandem, veteran, crafty players, part of that rotation that have always managed to be healthy, They're very crafty players, and dominant as well. Ndamukong Sue has played in 191 career games, started all 191, and he has never missed because of injury. Not only that, not only has he been available, he has also been productive. Ndamukong Sue, last year with Tampa Bay, registered six sacks. In 2020, the COVID year, with Tampa Bay, he registered six sacks. Y'all, the last time Ndamukong Sue, prior to that, had six sacks, was back in 2015 with the Miami Dolphins. So after having uh, eight and a half his last year in Detroit, six in his first year in Miami, he went five, four and a half, four and a half, two and a half, and then each of the last two years with Tampa, six sacks. That is a dude that even in his middle 30s, 
as much as he has played, is still having some of the most productive years of his career. You have a guy that has been durable and productive. We have seen the Saints at times try to, to you know drink from the fountain of youth. They'll bring in Champ Bailey late in his career. They'll work out Edger and James. Like we've seen the Saints try to go get air quotes, you know, name players late in their career, hoping that you can tap into some of the production that they've had in their career. And it's it hasn't worked out. This is an instance where you're talking about a guy who is still massively productive at 35 years old, having played nearly 200 career games, and is still, of course, won a Super Bowl with Tampa in the COVID year, but is certainly still wanting to play for a contender. If Ndamukong Sue landed in New Orleans, it's because he thinks he can make this team better. The other thing I'll tell you is this. When you look at the Saints' starting interior defensive linemen, David Onyemata and Shai Tuttle are your guys right now. Onyemata has started 89 games in his career, and I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers. You don't need to memorize the numbers. There's no test or anything. Just understand the numbers I'm going to give you for context purposes. Onyemata has started 89 games in his career. Shai Tuttle started 46. Okay, so take those two. Those two combined, by the way, still have not played in as many games as David Onyemata. Or excuse me, as uh, Ndamukong Sue. The rest of the defensive tackles on the Saints roster, Josh Black is a rookie. Jordan Jackson is a rookie. Malcolm Roach has played in 16 games. Albert Huggins has played in 14 games. Kentavia Street has played in 35 games. And Jaleel Johnson has played in 65 games. Aside from Onyemata and Tuttle, Roach, Black, Huggins, Jackson, Johnson, Street, the other six defensive tackles you have on this roster, six, have played a combined 130 games. The com- the six other defensive tackles you have on this roster have played combined less games than Adamican Sue. If you can get him, by all means, absolutely get him. Productive player, durable player, position of need. If he's affordable, do it. Would absolutely love to see Ndamukong Sue in New Orleans. The two, if I if I had to peg the two biggest question marks that I have on this team right now, still outside of you, know, can Jameis stay healthy and be an elite? I mean, like as far as numbers and the roster and where you are, defensive tackle, tight end. Will we see Adam Troutman take that next step and emerge? Can one of these young defensive tackles step up? Will you answer that question in a big way? If you're able to bring Indama Katsu to New Orleans, go do it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.